Just a quick comment. This, I've, a couple of comments. First of all, Greg and Andrew are watching. Hey, what's up? That's our aunt and uncle. So hi, Greg no and Ange. No way. Yeah. Right here. Hi, Brent and Tara. This is Greg and Angela here. Good job, Brent. <laughs> what up? And I want to go back up to Kanita. She has a question. She goes, oh, uh -oh. do teenagers think it's cool to see who stinks the most? <laughs> well, you're teaching sixth graders, so. <laughs> well, I, I have the privilege every year of watching them start to stink. <laughs> <laughs> it's that age, I'm telling you. And I said watch because it's actually visible. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it's just, I actually, it's, I got a very sweet email from a parent uh, it, it, indicating the various different levels of parents and their comfortableness with speaking about these issues. Mm -hmm. Dear Brent, uh, hi, I'm so-and-so's mother. Uh, as you might know, my son is of a certain age in your class. And yeah, I, I knew that. Uh, and, <laughs> and, and he's starting to be, there's two things that he's starting to have happen that I'm not really sure what to do. He's expressing interest in girls and and I'm afraid that that and she said she's a second language speaker. So his dream of finding a girl, which is not a dream yet, but it, she's expressing herself that way, might be hindered by the fact that he, he doesn't smell so nice nowadays. <laughs> Could you just have a chat with him? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's on my plate now it's your responsibility <laughs> teacher and yeah it, it is it it is and it isn't so i just i just do a general all call mm -hmm. i do it every year yeah. you know and i just you know girls have their issues and boys have their issues and they're both ready to talk to different teachers of different genders at different times and it, it can and you have to be open to it all the time but in general you do you do go hey I, I do two lessons with the kids that are big. One is, hey, you're going to start stinking. Mm -hmm. And if you're down with that, that's okay. I also teach in a highly multicultural classroom. I have a, kids from 11 different countries in my class right now. Wow. And they all, there's a, they all, all total, they speak like 14 different languages. Holy cow. We all, t I teach in English. We're right. all learning in one language, English. That's how ISDR is, right? Yeah, that's how ISDR is. It's, we've got 68 nationalities now, or maybe it's down to 60 now. Uh, it's a pandemic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they all went home. Uh, they, they all just went home. Um, but it, so everyone has a, a different cultural tolerance. Sorry to take your question so seriously. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> but the, the different cultural tolerance for, for, for body smell, you know? And the other, the other lesson I give is how to pee properly, you know? And, and sorry, this might get into some difficult territory. Uh, <laughs> The, the the movement at school was at one point to boys need to be taught to piss sitting down because they can't pee into the toilet. Oh my. And so they need to piss. and I'm like, you know, I'm not going to teach them to pee like that. It, it, I'm going to teach them to pee standing up and take responsibility for that. Do you know now? Just in case anyone's wondering, no, we're not actually having pee class. I was just going to say. I, no one is actually peeing <laughs> in front of one another. In the dojo right. practicing pee. We're, we're literally, I'm literally taking them in the bathroom going, this is a toilet. You know, and I'm, I do it with humor. <laughs> you know, this is a toilet with piss on it. No one wants to sit on this toilet now and no one ever will because you've peed all over it. What the hell are you doing? You inconsiderate. You know, yeah. you know be considerate. <laughs> pee here it's a big space i think you can aim properly. use some effort here boys take some time you know and, and i make it humorous i make it funny and i go it's this is really a serious thing don't do this and it's a life lesson it's a life lesson it, and, it, and it's in the category of body odor in sixth grade and True. everything like that you the know, same I'm, goes for girls who are so scared of sanitation that they hover and they pee all over the seat it's the same thing you know that I, I happens in women's rooms that that i I can't speak to that. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> but these aren't children. These are adult women. <laughs> okay, I, I need to know how you ho hover. You yeah. Know, you're squatting. You, you can hover just above the yeah, toilet seat. You got that uh, burn in the thighs. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> you, it's, what do they call it? Uh, what's the working out when it's just like that kind of... Hover burn? No, well, like uh, asymmetric. Or, uh, oh, yeah, iso yeah. Isometric. I isometric. Isometric. Isometrics. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but they do it. And, and it, the reason I know that they do it is one girl admitted to it ah. that I knew in an office I worked where I worked. Every time she went to the bathroom, instead mm. of, and another thing, if she did piss on the seat, why didn't she wipe it off? Mm. She knew she did it. That's the other thing. 
Because I said it in our office one time mm. with three or four girls in the office. Who is the woman peeing on the seat? Mm. The toilet doesn't flush that hard. It's not flushing yeah. water up there. And she was like, I ain't sitting down on that disgusting thing. Mm. So she totally admitted that it was her. But then I'm like, why didn't you clean it up? Yeah. yeah. Like have some. And this is an adult woman. That's super strange. Yeah. I mean, because I, I would expect it of, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going around <laughs> peeking in the girls' bathrooms. True. Uh, although, uh, j because we're an egalitarian society in Sweden, there, there's no girls and boys' bathrooms. I was just going to ask that, there, yeah. It, there's just bathrooms, uh -huh. you know, and there's not, our bathrooms are individual. Yep. So you don't go in there as a crowd with multiple people unless you're in eighth grade. And then they all attacked him. And then and I've pulled more eighth graders out of bathrooms than you can imagine. I walked up. I swear to God, there was an entire class of eighth graders in the toilet. You know, like it's literally a one seater. Oh my. You know, and I'm like, how many of you are in there? Are they, are they doing a prank? No, are they, they were hiding from English class. Oh God. I, I mean, I like, what are you guys doing? You know, and I, that's great. I don't know, but it's, I, I, it's, I think, I think a lot more boys are peeing on seats than girls. Oh, like, I would, I would yes. think so. Yes. Yeah. Tune in live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central. On the Unsung Screamers Facebook page, YouTube channel, and Twitter. And check out our Unsung Screamers podcast. Wherever you get your podcasts. Ah